Eh, recuerden que ayer estuvimos mencionando algunos de los marcadores. Por ejemplo, de, de signal words eran los que, los que mencionábamos ayer, como every day, every weekend, every Friday, or on Sundays, on Saturdays. Entonces, esos son los marcadores que podemos agregar para completar nuestras oraciones. Que de una sola vez, cuando me vayan poniendo su ejemplo, me lo hacen en forma negativa. Que the same example, type your example and type the same sentence, but in a negative statement. Entonces, por ejemplo, si me pusieron, uh, bueno, algunos están dando ya su ejemplo en negativo. The dog does not scratch the couch. Okay, entonces, en este caso nos haría falta la forma positiva de la oración. Que okay, it... Okay. Alex, en el caso de su ejemplo... Necesitamos dejar solamente un sujeto porque tenemos dos. Entonces tenemos it y tenemos PC. Entonces podríamos decir it does not work o podríamos decir the PC does not work. Ok, una de las dos. Then we have, we take the bus to school, okay. I do not take the class in the university this year. Okay. Mm. She doesn't buy in the mall. Okay, I like my My English class. I like my, my English class. Okay. English class. I can darle vuelta. Eh, los eran las signal words que vimos el día de ayer. Quiero ver si puedo. Que okay, estas. Every day, often, always, sometimes, never. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo voy a decir, I take the bus sometimes. Okay, or I do my homework eh, every day, for example. Eh, pero también... Además de every day, podemos utilizar every Friday, every weekend, every Monday. Que okay, I um, don't go to work. O también podría ser on Sundays. Que okay, or on Saturdays. Okay, que significa todos los domingos o todos los sábados. Esos serían como the sign of words o los marcadores que nos van a decir o nos van como a hacer énfasis en el tiempo que estamos utilizando, que en este caso sería simple present. Yes? Ok. Muy bien, veamos entonces the exercises. Okay, we have exercises here on the platform. Okay, we're going to complete with the correct the correct verb. Okay, my family and I, and then we have two options, live or lives. 
in the suburbs. Live. Live, okay. My wife and I works or work? Work. Work. Okay, work near here. So we walks or walk? Walk. 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 Okay, walk. walk. Porque es plural, ¿verdad? So we walk yes. to work. Yes. Our daughter Emily works or work? Works. 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 Downtown. So Downtown. she drive or drives? Drives. Drives. Drives to work. Or son don't or doesn't? Doesn't. Doesn't, correct. Doesn't, doesn't drive. He drives. Oh. Right. 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 His bike to school. Okay, conversation two. My parents yes. live or live? Live. Live in the city. My yeah. mother take or takes? Takes. Okay, takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't or don't. Doesn't. doesn't. He doesn't work now. He also use or uses. 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 Okay. Uses public transportation. So they don't or doesn't. Don't. don't. So they don't, plural, right? They don't need a car. Okay, let's check. Hopefully, me cargue por ahí. But they are correct. Yes, these are, these are the answers. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Pero estas son. I'm pretty sure that they are correct. Okay, luego. Okay, ahí están. Okay, it's loading. Wait. But yes, they are correct. Okay, here. Can you look? Good job. Okay. Now the the other the other exercise okay, here is with the the irregular verbs. Okay, ahí nos aparecían. Three irregular verbs. ¿Qué eran cuáles? Lo que aparecían en el video. Have. Have. Go. Go. Do. 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 Correct. Ok. Have nos iba a quedar de qué manera. Has. Has. Go. Goes. 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 And do. Does. 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 Muy bien. Entonces, para el caso de go and do, ya los habíamos visto en la lista anterior, ¿verdad? En la práctica que hicimos. Que como... 
they end in O, we have to add the S. Goes and does. Y para el caso de have, ese sí, eh, no hay ninguna regla que aplique para ello. Por eso se llama irregular. Okay? Es un irregular verb porque ninguna de las reglas que vimos aplica para ello, sino que se escribe de una manera eh, totalmente diferente. Ok, so let's do this part. Ok, my parents have or has. Has. Have. Oh. Have. Have. Because it's plural. Ok, recordemos que siempre las modificaciones son para tercera persona del singular. Ok, my parents have a house in the suburbs. Correct. Mom and dad goes or yeah. goes. Yes? Goes. Go. Go. Go, go. Por ahí escuché un goes. Go. Downtown to work. Plural. Mom and dad. Go. Yes. My parents are very busy. So I do or does. Do. Does. Do. I do. I do a lot of. Do a lot of work at home. Do. Yes. Okay, conversation two. My brother doesn't ask. He have or has? Doesn't. Has. 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 Yes. has. has. He has an apartment in the city. He goes or go? Goes. 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 He goes to school all day. And he do or does? Yeah. Does. 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 Does his homework at night. Conversation three. I have or has. Have. have. I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We goes or go. 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 We go. Go. We go to the same school and sometimes we do or does. Do. 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 We do our homework together. Okay. Luego de esta parte, vamos a practicar o vamos a ver la estructura de las questions. Ok, ahí está. Ok, they are correct. Ok. The next it's for questions. Okay, veamos la estructura. Let's see the structure. Okay. We have two types of questions. Okay, we have a yes no question. Okay, que se le llama de esa manera. Because the answer can only be yes or no. Okay. Y para ella, va, la estructura sería la siguiente. Vamos a iniciar con el auxiliary, 
Okay. Ya sea do or does, dependiendo del pronombre que vamos a utilizar. Then the subject, the verb, and the complement. Ok. En este caso también, como vamos a utilizar nuestros auxiliares, nuestro verbo no va a sufrir ninguna modificación. Okay, si se fijan en este caso eh, que tenemos a Peter, tercera persona del singular, vamos a dejar el verbo play. Y okay, no vamos a decir, does Peter plays? No, porque ya estamos aquí añadiendo nuestro auxiliary. Entonces, nos quedaría, does Peter play football? Okay. Yes, he does. Para nuestra respuesta, también vamos a utilizar el mismo auxiliar y el mismo pronombre, ¿verdad? Or, no, he doesn't. Okay, esa sería como la respuesta corta, the short answer. Do you read books? Yes, I do. Or, no, I don't. Ok, esas serían las yes, no questions. Y luego tenemos las double H question. Ok, estas las vamos a utilizar when we need information, when we need extra information, because the answer will be anything. Ok, la respuesta no está condicionada a un yes o un no, sino que puede ser cualquier respuesta. Entonces, por lo general, cuando necesitamos eh, información adicional a algo, utilizamos este tipo de preguntas. La estructura es muy similar. Ok, si se fijan, miren, tenemos auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. But at the beginning of the question, you are going to add the question word or the double H word. And here we have some examples. Okay, estos son algunos ejemplos de las question words. Okay, what, when, where. Pero también aquí en el manual, aquí están las time expressions también para los que estaban preguntando de, las, de los marcadores. Okay. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays. Okay. Ah, y en este caso eh, tenemos también what time. Okay, what time. Um, let's see. So we have what. Do you play or your computer? When does your mother go to work? Where do you meet your friends? Y como dijimos, la respuesta could be anything. Ok, cualquier cosa. Ok, preguntas acerca de estas dos estructuras. O de estos dos tipos de pregunta. No questions. No teacher. Okay. So let's make examples. Muy bien, iniciamos con las yes no question. Okay, give me examples of yes no question, please. Okay, recuerde, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Give me examples. Okay. 
How are you? A ver, how... Pero ahorita estamos con just no question. Eso sería double H word. Y no lleva auxiliar. Recuerde, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Ok, dijeron que no habían preguntas, así que give me your examples. Do you sleep? Yes, does she okay. play guitar? Repeat, Alexis, please. Does she play guitar? Does she play the guitar? Okay, yes, correct. Okay, what example? Do you sleep at night? Do you sleep at night? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes. Excellent, please. <laughs> what do you write excellent? Pero esa sería una double H question. Ahorita estamos con yes, no question. Hey, hurry up, hurry up. Auxiliary, subject, verb. I don't eat red apples. Pero esa es una oración. Estamos con questions, con preguntas. Do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Okay, yes. Válida, válida. Do you walk every Monday? Okay, excellent, Liliana. Yes. Do you walk every Monday? Do you dance? On Saturday. Do you curl? Yes. Repeat, please, the example. Do, do you driven a car do you drive recuerde que nuestro verbo se va a mantener sin modificación do you drive a car okay yes mauricio can you type your 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 sentence please escríbame la, la oración para verla bien y ver cómo la vamos a a, a modificar Okay, Edwin, your example. Catherine, Damaris, Wilfredo. Carla. Do you eat? Okay. Do you eat red apples? Okay, solamente vamos a agregar la S en apples. Do you eat red apples? Ok, porque lo vamos a poner como algo rutinario. Do you play any sport? Ok, y en este caso sí vamos a quitar la S, Jasmine. Do you play any sport? Ok. Do you speak French? Okay, yes, that's correct. Do you drive? Recuerde que el verbo lo vamos a mantener en su forma base. Do you drive a car? 
do you drive a car? Do you do you rest? Sería Wilfredo. Do you rest or do you sleep in the afternoon or do you rest in the afternoon? Do you do you cook? Sería. Do you cook? Valeria. Do you cook? On the weekends? Do you cook on the weekends? Do you want to know? A secret, okay. Do you play football? Okay, yes. Does Carlos read a newspaper? Okay. Does Carlos read a newspaper every morning or every afternoon? Does he play basketball? Okay. Do you like to sing, sería aquí. Do you like to sing? Okay. Do you exercise? Do you exercise? Y aquí no podríamos usar tomorrow porque ya no sería presente, sino que sería futuro. Entonces sería, do you exercise every day? Does your cousin dress well? Okay, yes. Do you like a sandwich? Okay. Does she sing a song? Okay, do we dance tonight? Okay, tonight va junto. Okay. Do you like makeup? Okay, do you like coffee? Great, muy bien, hoy sí. Bueno, vamos ahora con las double H questions. Ahora sí, vamos a hacer ejemplos con double H words, using double H words, ya sea what, where, who, what time, okay, give me your examples. Double H question, double H question. Where do you, where do you live? Where do you live? Okay, muy bien. No se vale, me lo ganó, yo ya lo estaba escribiendo. <laughs> Thinking another one. What day? What day? Sería aquí. What day is today? Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, more examples. When do you see TV? TV? When do you watch? When do you watch oh. TV? When do you watch TV? Okay, yes. Okay. What time does your baby hit? What time does your baby? ¿Y el verbo? Come. It. Okay, what yes. time 
does your baby or eat? Does your baby eat? Yes. At night. Yes, ahí todavía podemos agregar un marcador. At night, in the morning. Okay, excellent, good Fredo. Okay, two more examples. And you are free. Two more examples, people. Ah, ya lo vi, aquí está en el chat. When is the party? Okay, what time does your baby eat? Okay, when do you when do you watch TV? What is her name? Okay, what do you like to eat? What does he do for work? Okay, le faltó el question mark. What do you write? What... Mm, En esta, Jacqueline, ¿qué quiere preguntar? What do you write? ¿Sería dónde o sería cómo o...? Jacqueline. Um, era uh, dónde saldremos en, uh, en bicicleta, algo así creo. Ah, entonces sería where, where do you ride your bike? Where do you ride your bike? What is your last name? Le faltó el pronombre. What is your or her or his last name? What do you, what? Where, sería aquí, Valeria. Where do you work? Where do you work? What does your mother? Okay, veamos esta sería. What does your mother do? El right now, si no lo podríamos utilizar porque ese ya es otro tiempo. Ese es presente continuo. Y ahorita estamos en presente simple. What does your mother do? When do you fry potatoes? Where you go to dance? Where do? Where do? Where do you go? Okay, recuerden el auxiliar. Where do you go? To dance. Okay. Great. Muy bien. Tomorrow, I hope to that we can have a better class. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, and but I hope tomorrow will be better. Okay. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.